Triumph at the scene of the worst industrial accident in Bangladeshi history. Trapped for 17 days under tons of concrete, surrounded by the stench of rotting bodies, the stifling heat, and at one point of fire, a woman is found alive. A slight movement was the first indication she wasn't yet another corpse. She was alive and weakly gave her name as Reshma. I did not have anything to eat. I only had two bottles of water with me. The last two days I did not even have a drop of water. I banged a stick to show them I'm alive here and I was calling but no one could hear me. Even more astounding, the army says she came through her ordeal with no significant injuries. She told her rescuers she was on the second floor, which collapsed into the basement, protected by her position between a wall and a column. It's an extraordinary story of survival at a time of great anguish for Bangladeshis. It's a miracle and I express my gratitude to God and those who helped day after day, the volunteers. I'm grateful to them. I was thinking no rescuers would take the risk of rescuing the others. I was afraid of that. But I'm grateful to God and I'm thankful to the rescuers. Rescuers are still pulling bodies from the rubble and no one really knows just how many more may still be buried in the wreckage or how long the operation at the scene will go on for. At least three and a half thousand garment workers were in the eight-storey complex when it collapsed. Bangladesh's government is still under fire from its people for refusing international help in the rescue effort and for a poorly regulated garment industry worth $20 billion a year. This unexpected rescue will be a boost for everyone touched by this tragedy and for those fighting to ensure it doesn't happen again. Miriam Lahond, Al Jazeera.